There you go. Hi, Sam. Um, I'm working on a, a video on the age of conquest, uh, taking a few minutes out from my course on restoring hope and making sense of God and money in the world today. Um, and this little tidbit of information uh, was given to me about a week ago. And in light of today being the date that uh, Canada goes to the polls, um, and the growing and insurmountable evidence that our government is really not acting in any sense of, you know, they're not acting in any sense of looking after the people as they are hired by us to do. I wanted to show you the $10 bill. The Canadian $10 bill has an image of Viola Desmond on the front, and I'll, I'll show you who she is. I encourage you to go and do the research on this particular $10 bill. But here's what we, what every Canadian needs to know and why you need to hold one of these in your wallet. It says, every individual is equal before and under the law and has the right to the equal protection and equal benefits of the law without discrimination. The Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, Section 15. I think this is a clue. This bill was printed in November of 2018, and uh, it is a clue because it's the most widely circulated uh, bill of the Canadian of the Canadian dollar. And I'm just going to share my screen. And it. Um, so it's the most widely circulated. It actually won awards and it tells a story. And so I encourage you to go get one of these. But uh, let's just see here. Who is Viola Desmond? Viola Desmond, yeah, I just did a search here. I used DuckDuckGo. It was when was the Canadian $10 bill with Viola Desmond printed? And um, so we can see from the Bank of Canada, the history on it. She was a successful black businesswoman who was jailed, convicted and fined for defiantly refusing to leave a whites only area of a movie theater in 1946. Her court case was an inspiration for the pursuit of racial equality across Canada. Now line that up with what we have our politicians saying right now. How is it any different? Take the $10 bill and hold it in your wallet. Okay, then we can go on. The CBC, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, if you're listening outside of Canada, who is currently funded by our politicians, which is, of course, essentially our money, um, said when this bill came out that it was named the best in the world by the International Banknote Society. That's amazing. The most widely circulated bill has got um, Section 15 of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms um, printed right on it with a, the image of somebody who actually stood up against racial segregation. And now put that, it, it, just read the history. It's, it's quite fascinating. Um, and the fact that she was the first woman, um, um, like at, at Canadian woman to appear on the face of a banknote and all kinds of things. She, um, it's something that every Canadian needs to pay attention to. Everybody needs to pay attention to that because the government works for we the people. They do not tell we the people what to do. We tell them what to do. And so right now our Charter of Rights and Freedoms are being incredibly trampled on. And it is quite obvious that politicians are spewing out hate speech. And that um, the more you look, the more you realize that Canada actually on the world stage has never honored its agreements. And uh, it's time that we need to um, take this small note and multiply it, uh, which for me is particularly fascinating because many years ago, God gave me the income generating blueprint for unlocking the creative entrepreneurial spirit within each of us that starts with 10 bucks. So I consider this to be great hope, carry it with you. It's obviously worth a lot more than $10. And um, God bless. We'll talk to you soon.